I'm April Nolan at Twin Rivers um, Nursing and Rehab Facility. I am the Admission Coordinator, Internal Sales and Marketing. Um, we are a 132 bed uh, nursing and rehab facility here at 2420 West 3rd Street, Owensboro, Kentucky. Um, we do have the largest therapy gym here in Owensboro. We offer um, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy. Um, we have several different volunteers that come in. We have people that come in and play music for the residents. Um, we have bingo. Um, we have some that come in to play cards, board games. Uh, we also have volunteers that come in to help with staff when they go on outings as far as um, sometimes they go out to lunch. They have Walmart trips and different things like that. I am Mary Kate Blocker and I am the Director of Sales and Marketing at Twin Rivers. There are several volunteer opportunities, anything from coming in and playing music for the residents to playing cards or checkers with them, Bible study, and also you can come in and paint their nails, do pedicures and manicures, and do their hair and just visit with them and socialize with them. You can go outside with the residents and walk them around the building and then also go outside on our porch and visit with them or go up to the lounge and sit by the fish tank and just visit with them and socialize with them because they enjoy that the most. Music, they respond really, really great to music because it brings them back to a time when they were younger and it makes them reminisce on a time when they were you know, living their lives and music just brings up memories to them and it, it livens their day and you can see some of them really brighten up with music so we really like to have as much music around them as possible. I was witness to a resident at one time. He wasn't very verbal and responsive to verbal or any other kind of stimuli. And we had a gospel singer come in and he was singing the gospel music and all of a sudden you saw the resident just lift his head up and he just started singing out the gospel music and really responding and his eyes were bright. And it was kind of like he just rewinded his life 20 years and was just was so involved with the music and he stayed there the whole time and sang and sang and sang with the, the gentleman that was singing and, and just you could just tell he was just so excited and was loving every minute of it. Don't be scared and don't, don't be hesitant because these residents thrive on interaction with other individuals and any time that somebody comes in and visits them it makes their day and anytime somebody comes in and, and sings with them plays checkers with them plays cards with them even just goes outside on the porch with them and watching watches the birds they love it and we would love to have volunteers come in here and do those kinds of things with the residents all they need to do is just call us here at the facility and set up a time to come in here and talk to our activities director connie simmons and she will coordinate everything and get the volunteers on the calendar and then we will just love to have them here. I'm glad to be here. They've brought me up from the doldrums of my downs. I've had a lot of uh, medical problems and if it wasn't for this place I, I wouldn't be where I am right now. Oh yeah, I, I've got um, a few people that come come to visit me on a weekly basis and I really look forward to seeing these people and um, it always uh, makes my day. I always feel a lot happier after they've, they've left. Um, I might feel kind of down and low and they come to see me and I, I perk right up and feel a lot better about myself. Um, yeah, they've got uh, several um, activities here. Uh, I enjoy to play in the bingo and they've got card games and they go on um, field trips and uh, they do a lot with the um, with the residents here that are able to get out. Oh please, uh, you would be doing so much of the people here a favor. Uh, the elderly really do need to be visited. Like I said, there, a lot of them don't have family anymore or the families just don't come come in and, and a volunteer 
would put a smile on somebody's face and just to let them know that somebody out there does care. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> You're welcome. You did great. <laughs>